I'm Louisa. Um, I have my daughter Evelyn, who was born in February um, of this year. My husband and I have been very busy with projects and with work um, and with cars and with building houses and things and so we actually made the decision to have Evelyn a lot later in our life. She's certainly changed the way that, that we, we live and, um, and what we do um, and um, I love being a mum. Not that I expected to but I absolutely love being um, at home and with Evelyn and being a mum. How have I found um, the experience of being a mother different? I think if I think of two things. One, I actually thought, and I do remember telling people before I had Evelyn, that I thought I'd be at home bored with a baby all day. I really didn't think that was me um, and that I, you know, I wasn't going to be able to cope with being on my own with a baby all day. Completely the opposite. Um, I don't know where the time has flown to in the last six and a half months with Evelyn, but we do so many things every day. We have so much fun. Um, I am going to miss it when I go back to work. Um, and I'm, I, I don't know, it, it has been so much more fun and amazing than I ever thought it would be. And the second part, which is, I suppose from a, a slightly negative point of view, is I thought I would just have so much time. Um, and I assumed that I would be organised and I'd be able to make dinner every night and my husband could come home and all the house would be tidy and the dishwasher emptied and I would have made this lovely dinner every night. And I actually got incredibly frustrated and quite upset in the first few weeks that I had, if I had managed to um, half empty the dishwasher and possibly eat my own lunch, which was probably just a bowl of Weetabix, then that was my day. And, and my husband's been incredibly supportive and just reminded me that you know, my day is actually about Evelyn. My day is about um, bringing up a new little person. It doesn't matter that he will cook dinner every night after he's got home. Um, so I've learned to, to compromise and I have managed it a few times, but I've learned actually that um, you just can't do everything and Evelyn is the most important. Actually very nervous and very worried because for a self-confessed workaholic who's never had more than about two and a half weeks off um, in the last 20 years of career. Um, the thought of being off for eight months was actually quite daunting. I was nervous of actually being out and um, sort of missing out on life and missing out on work. I was also nervous about what happens if they don't miss me <laughs> rather than they do miss me. So as in, oh, I wonder if they can do without me. Um, I, I suppose it's quite natural. Um, but I was also worried about, well, how many things am I going to miss and am I going to be able to catch up when I get back with the, with the way that the industry moves quite quickly. I think, well, people think I've gone soft. That sounds daft, but my role is known for, and uh, maybe the skill set I've got, as being quite challenging um, and having to be relatively hard and perfectionist because that's the kind of um, role that I do and I don't want people to think that just because I've had a baby that I've gone soft on them um, but they might think that. I'm also a little bit worried on the practical side of I won't be working long days, I won't be staying late um, and doing all the things that I might have done before um, so I'm going to have to leave on time to sort of um, make sure I'm back to pick Evelyn up from nursery for example um, and uh, the culture is you know you, you, you stay in a meeting until it's finished well I'm probably going to have to dip out of things um, and so I'm just a bit worried about people think that I'm going to um, be sort of leaving work early. I think if I was going to choose one sound staff but one, one really um, one, one thing that worries me the most is coming back on the train from London um, and the train being delayed and late, which it has been on some occasions, and not getting back to see Evelyn go to bed. I think the first time, and it's going to happen, but the first time that happens I'll probably be quite upset. Um, but that's just, it's just life, but it is one thing that worries me, and the more often I have to go to London, the more likely that's going to happen. From a practical point of view, we have Evelyn's childcare arranged. Um, I have some meetings arranged with my team to catch up with them a few weeks before I go back. Emotionally, I don't know, though. So I've always known I'd go back in November. Um, time is ticking, and that's less than two months now. Um, but emotionally, I don't know if I'm ready or not, and I don't think I'm going to know that until the first day I walk into the office. My head's sorted. I think my heart's got to just go with the flow, I think. I've only actually, I suppose, vocalised these, these thoughts 
because I've been asked the question. You know, that there isn't really a forum um, to to be able to do that otherwise. Okay, it may be something that, that my husband and I might talk about, but in terms of being prompted to what am I really feeling like um, and where am I really anxious and where might I be worried, but also what are all the really good things, you just don't have the same kind of um, um, sort of forum to be able to do that. When you're talking to other mums, it tends to be either you're comparing what babies are doing or you're um, sort of asking for advice or giving advice. You're not really talking about your worries about going back to work at that point. Um, and when you're sort of talking to your boss, potentially, you might not be sharing all those different worries with him as well. Um, so I guess this sort of process and um, has, has just allowed me to think through some of those things and has sort of maybe brought out um, what I was thinking and I've never actually spoken out loud before. So to have a support package um, like this allows you to um, sort of make sure you're appreciating all the really great things about it, but at the same time gives you some assurance that, do you know what, all those really horrific, terrifying things aren't quite as bad as you think they are at the time. Um, and it also gives you a little bit of more confidence that when it's time to go back to work um, that you'll be ready, or as ready as you can be, um, to, to do that.